Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. I'm your host, Colors Fit. It's episode 7. We just got the mission from the Grey Gardens, people. The robots. And they also, we troubled waters, investigate the water treatment plant. I really don't like going there until I have a weapon that specifically targets the Mirelurks for damage. In addition, we also have this military frequency. I don't really want to go there yet. So I have a plan. And it doesn't involve either one of those things. It does, however, involve drinking. Since we're thirsty. Hey, really hydrated, finally. Alright, so let's get rolling. What I really want to do this episode is take Hangman's Alley because that just ends up being such a huge central location for me. It ends up being pretty important. Is anybody out down there? I see no one. Okay. Always some kind of trouble around here. The game has its hot spots, of course. Where fashionable glasses. Oh, I can't really tell what I look like. <laughs> I like her voice, it makes me laugh. Oh. There are just so many lots of little touches in the game and so one thing I did notice as I was going through my mod list as I was uploading the first episode seeing what's on it noticing that uh, true grass is why you see the grass looking this way in the game and quite a bit more of it oh we may end up having to deal with these guys anyway Alan and Dan's. All this shooting. Mose threw some stuff there, but gotta hand it to you. It's pretty awesome against ghouls. Alright. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Hmm. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? It's always about the money with you, isn't it? So you're a mercenary. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is Arcjet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? 
You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Hmm. That's interesting. Well. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but Dan's Halen, take Reese inside no point and find in his map Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. Good, right, so I don't have to go with them right yeah, this yeah. second. That's good. I don't want to. I'd rather go take down the old. Uh, my, ori my original mission here is to go get. Well, lots of dead bodies, lots of feral bulls. My original mission. My idea of my original mission, anyway, is to. Go to Hangman's Alley and take care of that little bit of business. Well, it's a straight shot from here. Besides, it's getting dark. There's always some bozos over here dinking around. Not this time. Could the fraternal post. I know most people like playing the stealth game in Fallout 4, and I certainly know that I've actually heard people say, oh, the power armor noise really annoys me. And maybe it makes a difference if you grew up on Fallout 1 and 2 like I did. Um... For me, this is the most iconic look in the game, is the power armor with the, that gun. It's just, it's badass. I forgot, in order to get over to Hangman's Alley, we gotta go through here. Oh man, okay. It's getting dark too. Uh. I'm gonna get some elevation so I can deal with this. Bozos want to come this way? There's the doggy. There's always a doggy. I'm not saying we're going to have to shoot soon, Preston, but if I were you, I'd get ready. Attack dog. Where's Wait. this? Opening fire. Oh. I really don't need that, uh, anymore. That baton. Let's see, can we find this guy? I thought I saw someone. Where is everyone? Hmm. I don't like the fact that I might have to go around. Oh, well. I just don't have the weapons to fight these guys. I have 42 rounds on that machine gun, which is like nothing. It's gonna. This guy in this power armor up here is gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt to take out. There he goes. Hold up. Oh come on. Where's everybody else? I know you got more people than that. Where are you at, you coward? He's... He's... <laughs> I'm the one who's sitting here in power armor a half mile away with a sniper rifle. Fine. Let's 
see if I can get a really good shot. Dang it, I thought that was a good shot. Oh, there we go. One time in the head here. Oh, come on. Take a stim pack. Ah! Oh, you sucker. Get rid of this guy and everybody else here. It won't be that big of a problem. Come on. Show your face. Alright, walk your way back out here. He's got someone else down there usually. There's big sharks, that's always really cool. Where is he? Oh, come now. Don't make me go down there and shoot that guy. Up close and personal. So gonna... The USS Riptide. You're not down there? Where are you, you clown? Where is this guy? There he is. What the? Aha! That's what I'm talking about. Where are the rest of you clowns? Where is this one? Oh man, please don't be ferals again. I'm worse than ferals. Nothing there now. Where is she? She's down below us somewhere. There were beds here. Who's there? You're mine now, rookie. I am kind of a rookie. I've missed you both times. I got better weapons than you do, though. You should get going. Preston, you need to calm down. We've got everything we need right here. We got a good place to sleep. Getting late, by the way, and this is not what you want to do: is drop down here with the power armor and fall down on the bottom of that river. I've done it. It's dumb, but it does happen. Raider stuff. That raider power armor isn't worth that much, and it's really heavy. So, hey, submachine. Oh, now I'm carrying too much, so it doesn't matter. So I have a plan for that, besides dinner time, for my character. This fool down here. And what do we have here? Oh, we have stuff. All right, let's put things in there. Things that I'm not gonna use. Fortifying light metal left arm. Probably something I want to wear. Let's see, where's that power armor? Raider, 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 not wearing that stuff. Gas mask, fashionable glasses, dog collar, definitely not wearing that. I need to go through all this stuff and find out what's good and what's junk. What else do I have? 310? I got some weapons here. Hunting rifle short, heavy glow sighted. Sniper rifle short. Pipe pistols. Bayoneted stuff. Submachine guns. Hardened and muzzled. Ooh. It does. Flare gun, right? Institute pistol. Knuckles. 
it gets me out of a lot of stuff right there. All right, Savage Beacon, baby. Take it to Sanctuary Hills. Come on, Preston, we're gonna take this place tomorrow, but for right now, let's just camp out in their uh, very nice, luxurious facilities they had over here. Well, what was up here? A little whiskey. They've got themselves a radio. They've got oh, wasteland survival guide. Heal fifty poor more percent from fruits and vegetables. Nice. What do we have over here? Ooh, Molotov cocktail. Alright, Preston, what do you think? Good enough, eh? Grab the fusion core. Alright, let's eat and drink food. What do we have? Grilled rad steak. Ooh. Properly fit. Alright, what do we have for apparel? Let's see. Um, I had a couple of, I had one unique piece here. Fortifying metal with darn. Alright, I'll take that piece. Lightweight tempered light raider right arm. What am I wearing for a right arm right now? I'm wearing the light metal right arm. It's seven and three, and this is three and three. Okay. Oh, I see. It says minus in the corner there. I see. Strength and shadowed light leather. Right leg. I should put that on. That's a bonus. Strength and enameled left metal leg. Boiled light leather right arm. Pocketed light metal painted chest piece. That does better damage resistance, so we'll do that. Okay. Oh yeah, it's that outfit. That chess piece, okay. Huh. While I'm waiting for people to come over here. They'll be here by the morning, probably. Maybe. Let's put the rest of it in here, since I'm not going to be using it. that oh and the black vest it sucks I suppose I don't need to carry that around I'm not going to a show here anytime soon no lady friends all right Preston let's get some sleep my friend what time is it 10 o'clock perfect what's in psycho and herbal stimulant well, I'm perfectly happy sleeping there. That's going to put us up at 6 o'clock in the morning. We can go raise hell with the uh, Hangman's Alley people. At 6, I feel well rested. I like the sounds of that. Oops, grabbed one in the wrong course. One of the new ones. I don't have to use that yet. Take that one out. Put this one in. It's 25 out of 100. Here comes my people, I can hear their Brahmin. It took them eight hours to get here. I love that. I love salvage beacons. I have to give a shout out to the mod author. It's just the coolest mod. There they are, there's my guys. Hey. Coming to get my salvage. Uh oh, the big huge fat cow is gonna be in my way though. You need to get out of my way, dude. So I can get off of here. Thank you. I love salvage beacons. I can't say that enough. I just think it's awesome. I think it's incredibly awesome. All right, Hangman's Alley. This is going to be a guns blazing affair here. Oh, 
Oh, their door's locked on that side. Okay. Well, then in that case, we'll go around the other way. Oh, yeah, that's the front. Big fatties. That's it. <laughs> Time to ruin it. Do I think I'm tough? Or I'm, I don't know. I'm carrying a minigun. What do you think? Alright. Everything useful? Everything useful, my friend. I love it. Now we can start taking this place over. Let's go start building. This is the one settlement I spend the most amount of time on. You can now use the workshop. Thank you. First order of business to get rid of all this junk. That is about the only wall I usually leave up, is that spot right there. And that mattress goes. Days. I need that cement. That stays, but it usually moves. For the time being. That'll have to be sufficient. I prefer to fix that up with uh, some other stuff, but. Alright, Hangman's Alley. I generally leave that little cluster over there. And then, uh, oh yeah, there's a basketball. Okay. Then we'll get this place built up after we start getting some people to it. Um, let's see, can we do that right now? I need crystal, copper, rubber. Okay, we gotta go back to... We gotta go back at some point in time. To Sanctuary. Uh, actually, I got one thing that I'd like to do here. Oh yeah. Good enough, my friend. Cool. I got fresh water. And I got food. Okay. And you have what? Sack of Okay. Alright. 
transfer everything that's junk. Anything we're not wearing. And weapons that we're not using. Oh, I want to fix that sniper rifle right there. So I'm going to hang on to that. What? A 10 minute rapid? Hmm, it's like a machine gun pistol? This is rapid. I'm not sure what that means exactly. I'm gonna hang on to it. Alright. This makes me happy. This is a good base. Now I just have to get all my supplies here. I usually make it about three stories high. You can get three stories out of it. And uh, build it up. Get myself a big overarching area over here. See, do I want to go that way and try to deal with those guys or not? Mm, not really. I got what I want. I have Hangman's Alley now. I just got to get a supply line there. We also know there's Oberlin Station over that way, and we could go do work for. For the paladin, Dan's cracks me up. Is the paladin? He is so much Buzz Lightyear. It just drives me nuts. Hmm. I could go to Diamond City. It's right there. Yeah. Maybe. What do you think? really want to get my supply lines running, but actually, I'm not going to unlock that door. Um... <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, sorry, I just bumped the microphone and that's like the worst thing in the world. We're going to be back here. This isn't a big deal. I want to head back. I want to get my supply lines rocking because this is the central base of operations and I want to get it moving along as soon as possible. I love these holes here. I have a love-hate relationship with those because I did fall down through one of them and the first time I was playing the game in the dark I was backing up and next thing I knew I'm in the bottom of the river in full power armor and it was just like oh brother. They did that on purpose didn't they? Yes. Yes they did. Oh, Do I have to tune to that military signal? Speak to Paladin Dance. Go to Diamond City. Active salvage victims are. It's still early in the game when when we don't have 800 million quests all going at the same time. Uh, Grey Gardens. Yeah, I really don't. I don't really want to go up there and mess with those guys. At the Cambridge Polymer Labs. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's a pretty decent chest piece if you're not wearing power armor that comes out of Cambridge Polymer Labs. I'm fairly certain about that. Dan's will take us over here, and of course, the neat thing about Dan's is on this particular mission is that, uh, he will give us his laser gun when he's done, which is actually a pretty nice weapon, so as I'm even just speaking about it, I'm already kind of changing my mind and thinking uh, maybe we should go help dance. There's some pretty good experience to be had from it. So why not? What time is it? It's 9.22 a.m. That's right, we rose early. We got up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. It didn't take long to go over there and get Hangman's Alley. Well, there's a bunch of stuff in here. 
Certainly. Oh my goodness, there's bodies everywhere. It's just a mess. Alright, let's go see dance. Let's go do this quest. This will give me time. This will give me a chance to do some rambling about some other topics. Me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can Quit squirming. Alright, Dan's. What do you got? Paladin. You ready to move out? Not yet. Not yet. Get yourself together. We've got a job to do. Oh. Okay. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Fusion cells. Inactive distress pulser. So, so, so while I'm looting this place, I'm gonna ramble a little bit about. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> well, he Quite cracks. He cracks me up with this questions. Um, oh yeah, expert. One of the things that did bother me a little bit about Fallout 4 the first time, and on subsequent playthroughs as well, Mamba Murphy's a minor annoyance, because, yes, you can just, oh, there's Stealth Boy. Nice, pull some mine. Mamba Murphy being a minor annoyance, because I don't like prophecies and stuff like that, and sight and vision. I tend to think that's just kind of weak writing, but the part that really annoyed me, especially the first time I played it, was how you're really forced to choose a faction, and you can't get everybody to work together. That really annoys me, because I'm one of those people who's like, hey, wait a minute, how come we can't all get along? Oh, antibiotics, sweet. junk in here and so I just found it really annoying that you can't get the Brotherhood of Steel to work with everybody else you can't get the railroad to work with anybody else oh that's right I need to get my suit repaired so that kind of stuff I was always of the mind of wait a minute you know Preston even says at the beginning, he's like, the railroad people don't sound that bad. Well, that's because they're not. They're pretty reasonable, actually. They just want sense to be free. And, and it seems like you should be able to convince the Brotherhood that the real bad guys out there are the Institute. And I always thought it would be really neat if you could get everybody kind of working together on the same team. Instead of being enemies. Look at this. But you can't. They all just pretty much hate each other. Hey, we got all kinds of stuff in here. Hey, patrolman glasses. That's what I wanted. Where are you? Oh. Now we're talking. I gotta get a better helmet, though. In general, I don't wear a helmet because it looks so bad. Shot glass. Who needs a shot glass? Everybody. In fact, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's more like it, people. That's the man. That chess piece is terrible, but hey, you know. When you're trying to... When you're trying to uh, defend yourself, looks don't really matter. More antibiotics. Oh my goodness, this is this Sorry is the Sorry about day. the other guys. Why are you cutting me so much slack? I'm a medic. Call it my bedside manner. Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol is his bread and butter. And Reese? Well, let's just say he's as hard-headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? I trust both of them with my life. Because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. Okay. Describe Halen's personal life. Field scribe Halen, personal log entry, 324A. 
starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only Is time will tell how job? long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Well, that is part of the dilemma there. They like to shoot first and ask questions later. I don't want to go down here because downstairs is parched from lack of water. Okay. Fix my power armor if there's anything in need of fixing before we head out, especially since I just gathered so much junk. Yeah, so I always felt like it would be... I always thought it'd be neat to be able to take the, the Minutemen and intentionally get them to work as a team with either the Railroad or the Brotherhood or, or whoever, you know. And it always seemed... Uh, it just seems annoying that you can't get people to work together. But it's the way the game wants you to play it, so... Fuse and sell. Bunch of ammo. grab the duct tape. Hey, I need that bucket because it's metal. Alright, my friend. What are you building? Well, I'm not really building anything, Preston. I'm just repairing. What do I got there? Nothing worth doing. Okay. So I just had one leg from one of those dogs, probably. A dark and stormy day. A huge rad storm. I'm not real fond of that idea. But hey, it's survival, and look, I'm a little bit wounded anyways, so there's nothing to say we shouldn't take a little bit of nap. By the way, naps are like one of the best things in the whole world anyway. Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? How this guy for you. This guy needs a punch in the face. Alright, gentlemen. It's stormy outside. I'm just gonna sleep for a couple hours. Then we'll go do you this. Better get a move oh, on. Parasites. It's not a good idea to keep Man. See this is my only problem with this stuff, is uh It's like every single time you lay down. Of course, I know why they're doing it. They said that if you don't sleep in your own bed. Then you risk getting more sick. So the game Unsurvival certainly encourages you to want to sleep in... in one of your settlements. All right. Dance. You ready to move out? Ready, dude. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. Yes, sir, bossy man. Let's do it. Let's go dance. Let's see what we can do about this whole thing. Dance does so much of the heavy lifting in this one. And this is... These are institute things. We're going to pick up a lot of laser guns on the way. Hey, who 
fusion cell. Missiles. Hot dog. Park jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. Dance's can always looks like it's a little crooked there. I don't know if that was intentional or not. did the wrong thing. That guy's body went hurling though. Who's left? I threw a grenade when I didn't mean to and then that guy just went flying. Oh he's way down here. Oh my gosh. That's cracking me up. Let's go see what else we can find up here. It's meat. Keep rolling, dude. Really need a combat shotgun here. Oh, there we go. That was all of them. All right, buddy. Ooh, the fog rolls in. This has gotten to be where it looks pretty darn good. As far as fog goes in the game, I like it a lot. Uh oh. Hey. Oh. Continue forth, my friend. And we're down to seven fusion coils. Feel pretty good about that. Numbers keep going up. The more cores, the better. Jet systems. Tato. All right, my friend. If I'm picking up some. All right, dance. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and buy the book. Understood. <laughs> Well, I suppose. Jeez. Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep brain. 
range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. But you will be. You will be, Danes. You will be. Go too fast. I want to be able to loot the crap out of this place. Corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash. Really the great right. damage they've done. We got here, Dan's. Oh, look. look at this place. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Hmm. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. Synth, isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. So there's Dan setting the scene for the way the Brotherhood thinks Don't about Institute Synths. Do you guys have any spare parts? Oh hey, just like that military grade circuit board, baby. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retreat. What do we have? Protectatron control. Engine core accident. Turns. Starting tomorrow, begin distributing identification badges to all employees. These badges must be worn at all times. They are infused with a low yield radioactive isotope that will prevent our internal security turrets from accidentally shooting any of our own employees. If anyone is caught near the entrance to the engine core without a badge, we are not liable for the injuries you may sustain. Turrets will go online in one week, so I suggest you sign up for your badge as soon as possible. That sounds a little violent. Activate units? Sure. Uh, medical responder. No units. Uh, security badge, guys. Hey, what's in here? Well, I definitely want that enamel bucket. And those wrenches. Pretty much always want everything. Except for a package of cigarettes. Shotgun shells. It's a handy thing to have in an office. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Okay. You reconnoiter. I'll do all the heavy lifting as usual. Alright, Dan's. Well, I'm guessing. Discarded Arcjet work log. Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh, crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, Arcjet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. 
supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing we push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. There we go. Of course I remember. All right. Sorry. knows what this was all for oh I'm a little overburdened aren't I let's go fix that right now I heard something. Uh -oh. Dan's can you take care of that so I'm gonna do this military fatigues hmm different than army fatigues Eyeglasses, battered fedora, fade advisor. I definitely don't want that. Don't know about that army helmet. Let's see. Flaring institute pistol. I definitely want to keep baton electrified. Ooh. Okay. Savage beacon. Send it to Hangman's Alley, please. And uh, for weapons, I want this Institute pistol. This is the best thing I have right now. Put it in the first slot. Damn, what are you doing? They really zap you. Got it. Chemistry station. Oops. Well, I only got fifty of them, right? Forty-nine. Nice. What is this desk? Lab terminal. What is this thing? Three oh eight rounds. That'll go nicely. He's got Institute Rifle Focus. That's what I really want. Institute Rifle Focus. To put that in the first slot. Thank you. Yeah, now we're talking. Dance. What do you think, dude? We've got a armor workbench over here. It seems handy. Powerful compensated. Hmm. And this guy. Oh yeah, all the electronics we can handle. It's over here. Oh yeah. This microscope has oh yeah. Industrial strength. Damn synths have compromised most of the facility. Most of it, but not all of it. Giddy up buttercup. Turrets ahead. Where where are you, Dings? Oh my gosh. Dance, you're like way out there hitting Tesla. Alright, your energy weapons permanently unfit. I think I read that one. Five percent. 
critical. What's a CEO's? Oh, damn, so just Mars Shot Project notes. After six months, the United States Space Administration finally approved Arcjet as the contractor for the Mars Shot Project's propulsion and communication systems. Having my team start working on the XMB booster before we secured the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put Arcjet on the map. The USSA has started their public relations campaign for the Mars Shot Project and ArcJet Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think I fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know when we're delivering the XMB booster so they can take their pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time. And all I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. I hope Dr. McClellan solves our weight problem soon. We're never going to get a contract from the USSA ever again. We scheduled the photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB booster's first test firing in an engine core. We're going to stick them all down in the control room and let them shoot their pictures through the thermal glass window after Dr. McClellan gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. The engine puts out a hell of a lot of thrust, so it should be quite a spectacular show. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB booster's test firing event. Somehow, a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McClellan was running a quick test on the booster, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration and burn the photographer into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent take care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, it'll be shut down and I may as well put a for sale sign out front. All of the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Mars shot project. They're telling me they may have to delay a year or more depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract, which we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out so we can all get back to work. Completed Faro Paladin Dance. Well, what's in here? Anything? Look at all this. I know it's all junk, isn't it? Anything good in here? Ooh, what's that? That's a just a regular Nuka Cola. Garden variety Nuka Cola. Empty blood pack. It's useful for anything. Dan's, what did you do? You blew everything up as usual. Oh, there's an overdue book. That'll be handy later. The men's room. Got anything good in here? What's this? Bobby pins? Hey. What a stink. I know. I think that was Dan's. I think we can blame that on Dan's. Don't go into the bathroom after Dan's. The paladin laid one down. Hold on, I'm not done looting this whole place yet. Well, I guess I am. Alright, let's go. Um better safe than sorry I suppose since these guys do have all the blasted energy weapons what do you got? you got some mint hats well, in that case Dan's engine course ahead should be our final stop alright well guess what I'm hungry and I'm thirsty I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna eat death claw steak like that
All right, Dan's my man. I'm gonna get out what I think is probably my best weapon. Mm. I hope this is it. You ready? Oh, wait a minute. Let's use this one. Arc jet engine core. All right, what are you looking at? Foggy windows. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Ooh. Hey, look where we're at. Look at this. All right, I see it. Hold on. Explosives. Pulse mine. Thank you. Scribes have a field day in here. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. And find a way to get the facility's power back online. Yeah, we will. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off the main chamber. I'll remain here. Watch our backs. You're gonna marry me in here? Okay. Well, here, bud. I'm gonna do something. Okay, Dan's. Now listen up, buddy. Don't get your butt hurt back over here. Brush. It's the junk jet. Excellent. Well, it's worth it to. Cheering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine. I'm sure he took shop class. Oh, look, he's reading the science mag. How cute. Ha ha ha. Shop. Let's see them make this in shot class. Sweet. The finest in weapon heist refuse acceleration. My beauty. My junk jet. The junk jet. Let's see what we have here. Attempts remaining. Uh, base likeness of one. That would match the A. Yes. Oh. Power options. Start auxiliary generators. Proceed to the control engine room. Core power restored. Thermal engine fuel. Hey, look at that. And standing by for your command. Dance. Five second countdown. Out of the way, Dan's. Four. Oh. Three. Two. One. Engine firing. Should have killed him that way. I forgot that you can do that. I worry because Dan's is in. Test firing oh. completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Floor's a little burned here. Fortunate. The rocket engine fired instead of blowing itself apart. Yes, they aren't going to need that anymore. You are carrying too much to run. Well, guess what? Not until I pulled every last little bit off of these guys. I'm not gonna do anything about it. I 
sound is a cat. Good job, kitten. Alright, let's go put this somewhere where someone from one of my teams can come get it. <laughs> You're really slow. But that's why I like survival options, because you can change the fact that it would do damage to you. Which seems ridiculous. Alright, this is going to be perfect right there. I don't have a hard hat. Let me get rid of that. What do I have? Hunting rifle short. That's the one I want. Sniper rifle. Powerful compensated. Hmm. So it's better than the one I have? It is. In that case, I'll keep it. Rapid compensated. Right. Minigun, flare gun, institute pistols. Institute pistol excited. Automatic. Institute rifle focus. I don't want the jump jet. I'm going to sell it later. a bunch of stuff. Um, what else do I have? Junk. Over to books. I'm going to hang on to those cigar box. Subway tokens. Pre-war money. Actually, I'll hang on to those. Protectatron metal. Fall tech lunch box. Stinging barb. All that stuff can go. And then what do I have here? All this stuff. This is why. This is part of the reason we weigh so much. But we can tell him to just come pick it all up and take it to Hangman's Alley. For the thousandth time, thank you, dude, who made Salvage Beacons. You are the master of Fallout 4 Survival. Salvage beacon. I got two left. Send it to Hangman's Alley, my friend. Alright. Let's go do this dance. Going down. I like all of this. That's where we're going, right? Hey, this is the way we came in. Dance? What the hell are we doing? Oh, because we can't get up from here? I see. Oh. Hold up. Not getting past Hold me! Hold on. Explosives. What do I have armed right now? Fragmentation. Mall. Fragmentation grenade. Okay, head out again. Another one for the minute, man. I hope that's the last of them. Mm, me too. Yeah. I don't see the device anywhere. Fan out and check the synth remains. They may have been after the transmitter as well. Retrieve the deep range transmitter. Which one of you punks had it? The deep range transmitter right Let's there. Let's get out. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? Engine core control terminal. I want all this ammo back here. Dan's. You guys, I thought you paladins were supposed to be the best at scrounging for stuff. The 
cage and spine. Perfect. All right, Dan's going up. Seven hundred fourteen rounds of this thing. Man, I've got some ammo. Better make use of this gun a little more often. All right, Dan's. Bunker looks clear, dude. It's dark. Not leaving without first looting. It's kind of. Oh, vodka. Oh, man. We got. Let's get a gun and more vodka. I mean, wish I could make cocktails in this game, it'd be great. Dance! Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Perfect. 100% critical damage and plus 15% critical refill rate. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the so, what do you say? I don't know. I know the Brotherhood has all the fancy toys, but don't forget about your responsibility to lead the Minutemen. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. That's the appropriate way to end that whole thing. Okay. Hmm, well... Arc Jet System's all done. We gotta get back home. This hour's a little long, though. I mean, this episode's a little long. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end it right here and say, folks, as always, thanks for watching. If you guys have a question or comment, drop it down below. I will do my best to respond. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And let your friends know about the channel as well. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.